Hi, I'm Dr. Delaney, and let's talk about prominent ears. Ears are considered prominent if they stick out more than two centimeters from the head. Now, this is a lot more common than we actually realize. In fact, a study showed that about 6% of the population has some type of ear prominence. Protruding ears can make some feel very self-conscious about their appearance. A lot of times people will choose to grow their hair out to cover up their ears, uh, or they may avoid wearing their hair up altogether so their ears won't be seen. And this problem is oftentimes compounded by childhood bullying and teasing because the ears stick out so much. Fortunately, there is a permanent surgical procedure that can help fix protruding ears called otoplasty. Otoplasty refers to a procedure that helps reshape the ears. Usually this means pinning the ears back so they're less noticeable. One of the most common defects with protruding ears is an underdeveloped anti-helical fold right here. And so what happens when this fold is, is undeveloped, the ear tends to fold forward, okay? And this way it moves away from the head so it's more noticeable. So in addressing this issue, we usually would use permanent sutures to help pull the cartilage back by putting special stitches in the cartilage itself. Now, if the problem is simply an underdeveloped anti-helical fold and there's no other issues that we need to fix at the same time, we could oftentimes perform this surgery with just suturing through the skin alone behind here by burying the sutures there so we don't even need an incision. Now, other times there could also be issues with this part behind the ear called the concha. Now, you can have too much cartilage here or misshapen cartilage here and further modifications may be necessary. And in those cases, we'll actually need to make an incision behind the ear uh, where we go in and make those modifications. It, for example, we may suture the cartilage down towards the skull to tack it back, or we may even have to remove some extra cartilage. Photoplasty is performed on an outpatient basis, meaning you could go home the same day. The surgery itself takes about one to two hours, and the duration depends on what exactly needs to be done. Uh, you can expect to have a head wrap uh, the first day of surgery for the first night, and then we'll see you the very next day to remove that dressing and we switch you over to a headband. Now this headband will have you wear daily for a full week and then at nighttime only for another week. So the headband helps keep the ear pinned back so it takes some tension off of the sutures while the ear heals up. Otoplasty is a great surgery and it's one of my favorite surgeries because it could permanently and drastically change the appearance of people's ears. Now this is a procedure that we commonly perform for children uh, because we want to try to prevent the ridicule and bullying that they may experience in school, but we also do a lot of these procedures on adults as well. So there's no right or wrong time for the procedure, it really comes down to uh, when is a good time for you for the surgery and the recovery. Now like with any surgery on your face, it's always important to find a board certified facial plastic surgeon who has experience in this type of surgeries.